Hi everyone, in this short video tutorial we will take a look at a very useful AI tool. The tool I'm talking about is called Recraft AI and it's a AI image creator that allows us to create not only singular images but also a full storyboard that respects the aesthetic canon and the development of the various scenes in our storyboard. It's a free, directly accessible from the browser software and all we will need is a simple Recraft AI to access it is very easy the first link in the Google search for Recraft AI is the one we want to click and once the page is loaded we just need to click on login once we have logged in we are prompted into the interface where we can create a new project starting here we click on create new project and here we are in the interface. First of all, we can start to choose which kind of image we want, if a raster image or if a vector image. We could choose vector. Here, we can choose which kind of style we want to apply to our image. For today, I will choose flat 2.0. Then, by clicking here, we can decide for the level of detail we want to apply. In this case, let's stay with medium. Moving on, we can choose the aspect ratio of our image, like this. Let's stick with a one-on-one ratio. And then we can choose a palette for our images. Here we can generate a random one, but we can also import the one we prefer. I'll stick with, the, with this one. Now let's move on to writing our different scenes. Our story will be about a person that uh, wins a marathon. So here is the first scene in which the athlete prepares himself. And after we have wrote our prompt, we just click Recraft. And here we have our image created. Now let's create our, the second scene of our, of our story. Let's stick always with back to our heart and let's add our second prompt. Then we, we place our second image next to the other one and we click Recraft. As you can see, we have generated our second scene. Now, to complete our storyboard, let's create our last scene by heading it next to the other one and by typing our third and last prompt. Once we have done this, let's click on Recraft. And the third and last image will be created for us. If for some reason, we are not happy with the result of one of our images, we can always regraft it once again. So by selecting the same image, we click on modify the current image. We can choose to make it more or less similar to the image we are um, currently modifying. I say moderately similar and we can click on Modify Image. As you can see, the program has fastly created a new image. To export all of our work, we just need to go on the top right, and by clicking Export, we can choose which kind of format we want. In this case, I'll go with JPEG, and the selected images will be downloaded for us. For this very basic, video. That's all for more video like this. Follow JBD Tube.